Welcome to video number 7 of ClickView training. In this video, we will see how we can use the log files and trace mechanism, trace mechanism for ClickView. This video is presented by Bharti W Consultancy. How often in a project you find a need of understanding what's being loaded, how it's being loaded, and how to track and trace errors. And for that, we will go to edit script and let's let's define a variable and set the variable. So there is a command let v is variable. You can give any name. V sales num row equals the function is num of rows in the table. Let's define the table here. And the function to display this in the log file is trace. So I have defined a variable and number of rows from sales data table I am saving it as v sales num rows and in this trace file I am going to display that. So I just save it and I want to reload. This is the reload button. You can see rows in table 30. In order to activate a log file which can be then reused for your understanding of the program, how it is executing. Go to settings, document properties. In the general tab, set generate log files and timestamp in log file name. Check, check, check the boxes, these boxes. And click on OK. Save it. The next time you reload, it's gonna save the file. It's gonna save the file in a location where your QVW file exists. So here it is. This is the file 256 AM. You can see that execution started and gives you the list of things. You can see here sales data, what had loaded. In the next video, we are going to discuss variables and also we are going to see how to use debugging, debugging tool in the, in the click documents. Till then, happy learning. Please feel free to contact for details bharti.dwconsultancy at gmail.com and this is the phone number.